give a little, little, what we're doing here. Like right, we gotta tell them why we're not smoking pass anymore. Oh yeah, pipes are really annoying, so we're we're now doing we're now doing hookah. It's still gonna be called pipeline, but uh, you know, we uh, we like hookah. That's about all I got. Welcome to Pipelines. First off, season two, episode one. We're back. We're back. After a long awaited return, the boys are back. Voice of reason, Shane Walters. Southern sweetheart, Caitlin Pass. Uh, so today, I wanted to talk about E3 because E3 is coming up and you know, the, the E3 is, it's always like that in-between stage where like the first half of the year, like the games get somewhat released, but E3 is really that one where here's what's coming out this year, here's what to get excited for, and also here's what's coming out next year. Whatever. It, yeah, basically it's just the hype machine and you feed into it, whatever. But I wanted to talk about like what our top three, well not really top three, but like what our three predictions would be. We've got three predictions, okay? And like... Of course, those are the obvious ones because, like, we know of games that are coming out, but like, we don't know like release dates and stuff like that. So we're seeing what they're going to tease at us a little bit, kind of just kind of yeah. tickle our little nipple. Okay, so like my like the one prediction that I know is going to happen, like, um, like because Bethesda's conference is on Sunday of E3 week. Okay, so like their conference is on Sunday. I'm expecting. Um, them to start it off and re uh, reveal that they're releasing Skyrim for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Definitive edition. It's going to have all the DLC and all the good, good stuff all packaged together. <clears throat> I'm sure people would go fucking nuts. Probably. Oh, of course, but like, it, like it, it just makes sense, you know? Like, that ga like everyone loves that game, so... And there's so many remasters out there. Like, I personally don't want to see another remaster, but they're still coming out and people are still buying them, so... I could say that people would still buy Skyrim just for the simple fact that it's just every. I mean, you could. There's so much to do. I I bought the game in 2011, fucking yeah. loved it, mm -hmm. played it to the ground, and still haven't beat beat all of the content that's on that game. And with such few titles here and far, few and far between, yeah, most yeah. of them being remastered. Mostly meaty titles is what we're talking about. Yeah, and this one would be a good kind of. It would be a great gap filler for Bethesda, I think. For their next big sequel, which is you know everyone's excited for Fallout 4. That's that's or, the second part of my prediction. That's the, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, everyone's excited yeah. for that. Or possibly. But that's the, if you don't release Fallout 4 this year, I will find you. And I mean, I won't really do anything. I'll probably just cry, and you'll feel sorry for me, and I'll come home. But he's, do it. He's the big person of Liam Neeson. Exactly. I, I will find you, and I will use all your tissues. <laughs> <laughs> I will make you feel bad. So basically, the second part of my prediction is at the very end of their conference, the the, the lights are gonna go out. Uh, whatever the dude, the main main guy for Bethesda, I don't, I don't know his name. Um, oh, that's that that skinny that skinny guy. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember his name. Um, he'll come out and like it won't do anything, but like he'll he'll just like start closing them out and everything. Oh God! Oh, that's so bad. Oh God! <laughs> um, so he'll start closing out the conference and then he'll be like, but wait, there's more. And he's gonna leave the leave the stage. It's gonna be pitch black, and we're gonna see. It's gonna show like a picture of like uh, like the graduating class of like 1966 or whatever, or 2066, whatever it fall out is the time period. Take, take yeah, place. whatever the time period is, it's gonna show a graduation picture of a graduating class of MIT, which is in Boston. And they're gonna slowly zoom out like they did with uh, three. I just want it's, to set uh, the world on Dude, stop it! You're making me so excited. Yeah. So it's gonna, it's gonna zoom out. It's gonna start playing some. I can get down with that. Some song, and it's gonna zoom out, and it's gonna show a destroyed dorm room. But then it's just gonna show a battlefield of MIT called the Commonwealth of just people shooting at each other. It's gonna zoom all the way out, and then it's gonna show an android, and it's gonna cut the blacks and deck. Whoa. Never changes. It's gonna boom. God. December release date. Re December 2015 release date. Place is going to literally implode from the amount of hype. And after that, we'll have a pipeline episode come out. That and Shane's grave will be right next to me. Yeah, it'll just be chaos. <laughs> He'll die of hype because uh, I'll just be dead. It, it won't be a thing anymore. So <laughs> that's basically all I really need from 83 right there. Is just fucking graves right there and Lincoln's flying on it. It's like. <laughs> 
He's like, welcome to Pipeline Season 2, Episode 6. Um, Shane's no longer with us, but Lincoln can fill in. Uh, he's, he, he's a dog. Uh, the show's quality is definitely going to take a step. But anyway, so that's my first prediction. So that's like the big hitter. That's all I need. So what is what is your first prediction? Well, I predict after the remaster of uh, DMC, I think, Cat, yeah. I think they've heard a lot of outcry from the hardcore Devil May Cry fans. Right. I think Devil May Cry 5... The return to form. Yeah, return to what was originally brought on. Not saying anything about DMC. Yeah. Yeah. Like, people like it. I didn't personally like it. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was a good game. But at the same time, it was just we didn't have that Devil May Cry feel to it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, which is basically just borderline ridiculousness. Yeah. Just I was, stupidity. <laughs> I would love to return back to that world. Devil May Cry Four just ended on such a high note. They, they, they did melded everything perfectly. With, yeah. And the story for Devil May Cry Four was really good. So I'm hoping they just kind of expand on that. I hope they bring Nero back. I yeah. love Nero. I love how they had Johnny Young Bosch as yeah, Nero's boy, voice. Voice actor. I the love voice hearing, actor of everything. I love his voice. Uh, <laughs> He does such a magnificent job. Yeah. Um, I think that would help Capcom. Cap what, who would who would they, who would they present with though? Would it be PlayStation, Sony, or Xbox? Because they don't have their own conference. I think they would probably end up throwing in with likes of uh, of uh, Sony. Because does Capcom have? Because Devil May Cry. Because Devil May Cry Two came only like Devil May Cry One and Two only came out for PlayStation. True. So they kind of have ties in Sony's. But it, 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 that, that hasn't stopped them from releasing. No, 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 no. It has. You're absolutely right. But what I would really be surprised to see, and this is kind of an interesting thought, is if they tie in their pre if they tie in with Nintendo, because everybody's been saying that Nintendo is looking like the uh, look, looking like one of the bigger companies that's going to take Capcom uh, yeah, in. Yeah. And that would be very interesting to see. That could also lead him to be Wii tight. U exclusive. Devil May Cry Five. I'd fucking. I'd have to buy a Wii U. <laughs> But it would also see it, it'd be very interesting to see what they would be able to do with him if they get him at some of the Capcom series and yeah. get them because they've got Monster Hunter. Yeah, and they got Mega Man and Super Smash Brothers. So it'd be interesting if they put him in Super yeah. Smash. That'd be fucking badass. See, my thing is, is just like if Capcom has exclusive, like an exclusive game for one platform, like I can totally see them just packaging that all together. You know, like if they have something to announce at one of the major conferences, like Sony or Microsoft or Nintendo Direct, I can totally see them like just packaging that together be like here's this game that's coming out for this console but here's also Devil May Cry 5. Oh my god. Well, I mean Devil May Cry is one of their Yeah. Devil May Cry is one of their bigger titles. They got Street yeah. Fighter which is huge which is supposed to be coming out here soon. PlayStation exclusive. PlayStation exclusive. So, that may be our answer right there. And that may be our answer. And Devil May Cry is one of the bigger com cat blah, 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 cat com uh, exclusives. So, I think if anything it would be a big reveal. Yeah. I think it'd be a very big reveal. You, I think, would, you think about it, Capcom's got such a powerhouse, like, arsenal of AAA titles. Like, Mega Man, Monster Hunter, Street Fighter, Resident Devil May Cry, Evil. Resident Evil. Like, like I know there's more, I can't think of anything. Well, but, I, like, they've got so many IPs that they just don't do anything right. with. Well, um, we also have to remember Deep Down. That's, that's, that's my, that's okay, my yeah, next prediction. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, okay, so. yeah, Deep Down. We have to remember about that, because that's PlayStation exclusive as well, right? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Confirm or deny all, Capcom, whatever. All I know is, is that I'm really excited for that game because it's got a very Souls-y vibe to it, and I'm all about some Souls games. Well, I love Dragon's Dog, so... But, I just want Dragon's Dog with two. Please! Please! That's not gonna no! <laughs> but, on to your second prediction. Okay, so, like, basically, with my second pick, it's a really, it's kind of like a gimme pick, but, like, so Square Enix has their own conference this year. So, like... Like, the, the, the thing that everyone wants to hear is a release date for Final Fantasy XV, which should be there, maybe, but, like, the main prediction I want to make is that the the new update that they're going to do for the demo is going to be, it, they're going to release it that day. Because they're right. up, they're updating the demo to, like, address the complaints with, like, you know, the problems with, like, the camera. Um, I think that was really my only problem. That was only my problem, but, like, you know, there was a bunch of other problems. Lock-on system. Lock-on system, that's another They've game. already said they're going to address that. Yeah, yeah. Basically, what I want them to do is just take that Dragon Age thing and just zoom it out during combat, make the camera faster. Basically, just that. But I think that they're going to announce to make that update the day of their conference and be like, you can play it right now. Go download <laughs> it or something. You know? Or a trial version or, or a beta. Yeah, yeah, or something. You know, like, 
So they're just going to update the demo. Which which excites me because they're listening to feedback and they're trying to give the community what they want. Well, after their last two we all know outings yeah. in their biggest franchise, uh, I think they need to address problems, which is good right. because like Square Enix has definitely tried their damnedest to isolate their core demographic, which is people like us that played good RPGs when we were kids. But yeah, so I mean, we know how they've been in the past, so I think that they're really going to try to nail what people want in this new one. So basically, that's just my second prediction. It's like Square Enix is going to come out, and they're going to either, they're going to talk about the update and say it's coming out today, and maybe give a, re a release window which won't be 2015. It will not be 2015. Yeah, true. See, I, I think that this game is going to be tailored more for people like us because they're like, the main thing is just like, there's no kids in this game. Like, I'm really not. Like, and I appreciate that because I want an older story that has evolved with us, like, growing up. Like, when we were, like, kids, you know, we could relate to angsty, you know, children in video games, you know, saving the world because we were angsty children. But like now we're like grown up and I want a, I want a coming of age Final Fantasy game. You know, I want I want these four characters and I want how they interact and I want their just the story to be I want someone to, I want someone I want a pivotal death at the end. I true, want a pivotal true. death. I, I do want someone to Think die. of all the Final Fantasies that were just great because of pivotal, just great like main char characters dying. Ca main characters <laughs> dying. It gives a sense of mortality. I'm telling yeah. you, that's the best thing you can do for a game. It makes it that much more real for the player. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah. No, that, that's pretty much it, though. It's just like release window, hopefully for 15, and then that update. So that's that's my number two. I think my number two would have to be. We've already said it. Is deep down. I deep am down. 100 excited for this game if done right. It looks just like a Souls game, which I love, but at the same time, it's more horror-driven. Like, okay. and Have we so, seen any gameplay, or is it just like the trailers? Yes, there is, there is gameplay. Okay, there, I, it's, I it's, it. uh, it's very minimal. Uh, Does it look like Dragon's Dogma? It looks like Dark Souls, but it's just so much, it's like the lighting in that game is so, like, just dim. Mm -hmm. And literally, there can be a dragon at the end of the corner, which I think is just really, really rad. Um, I would. So, I think they're going to pretty much kind of give you because they gave it to us. What was it? Two years ago, they showed a little bit of it. Yeah, it was. It was like when the PS4 was like about to launch, and they're just like, "This is what we're making." It's right. Cool. And I think it's about time that they showed us a little more of what they're getting into. Uh, I, you had said something previously about maybe it being free to play. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I. I don't think that's the right move, but no, no, it's never the right. It's move. not good. It's not a good <laughs> sign. Right but I'm really excited for this title because I, I love survival horror games. Period. It, it, it helps immerse yourself in, a, in an experience. And yeah. They can implement fantasy into that and give that sense of dread. In a fantasy. In game. a fantasy game, that yeah. that to me is just that'd that's be crazy. Awesome. That's really cool that'd, idea. That'd be awesome, actually, because it's, like. You have, you it's mean, either sci-fi or like zombie apocalypse or like some type of some type of disease or like look at look at Silent Hills, which I am pumped for by the way. It's fucking scary. It's canceled. I know it's canceled. <laughs> but there's, a, wow. there's, a, there's a petition out for it, so there's hopes yet. But at the same time, nothing like that of its caliber has really been done before. And you'd have to go back and look at, uh, you know, if you were putting yourself in that time period. Be scared as shitless yeah, if you saw yeah, a dragon. Absolutely. And like think about it. Like just like wrap your mind around it. I think it's That'd gonna be, be really cool. I think they're actually gonna come forth with it and show a lot more um, footage on it. Uh, I I hope. Yeah. But it's not guaranteed, but I really think they're gonna come up with it because Capcom is needing something to kind of Get them to put them on par with some of these other uh, companies like From Software, yeah, uh, yeah. Naughty Dog, and yeah. because the game, it's going, it's going a little bit more cinematic-wise. It's going a little bit more in depth, uh -huh. I think. But no, I do, I, I do hope deep down just becomes like, here's a game you can buy, and you go into online dungeons with friends. That could be, yeah, that could yeah. be something. That That's why I can totally see them doing like taking the Dragon's Dogma online or whatever the fuck you want to call it, and then just like. Keeping it called deep down, and like I really hope that they do what you just said. Like survival horror fantasy sounds amazing. Like I hate horror games. Like everyone knows that. Um, right. But like, like that would just be crazy, man. 
man. Like, I've never seen that, I don't think. Like, if he, if he, he like, puts you in a world and it's just, like, tight corners, no jump scares, but it's, like, eerie. Yeah. yeah the, like, no, the, seriously, the, the, from the footage that I saw on it, the lighting was, you were carrying around a torch, and that was your about only source of light. And there's booby traps, and there's, there's, there's terrifying fucking vicious creatures from yeah. like in the trailer that showed a dragon. Scary was, skeletons. Not confirmed, but let's hope. <laughs> let's hope so. <laughs> okay, so number three. All right, big one, leading up to it. All right, Fallout 4 is like my main, my main event. If that happens, I'm good. But what I want to see is Atlas to come out at some, probably, probably Sony. They're most likely gonna be Sony. And just be like, hey, you like Persona? Here's Persona 5's English trailer that you saw earlier this year. They're gonna re-show that trailer that they showed earlier, but it's gonna be in English this time. And they're gonna be like, all right, have fun. They're gonna walk off, and it's gonna hit us with like a November release date. I'm, I'm just gonna. If Fallout 4 is Shane Walter's main event, then Persona 5 is the fucking after party with Woo! fucking K Camp playing Take a Little Bit the whole fucking time. <laughs> it's just, yeah! dude. So like, my worst fear though is that. They announce Fallout 4, it releases this year, and then they announce Persona 4, and it, or Persona 5, and it releases like within two weeks. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm gonna like literally just cry because I'm like, I can't. I, I, I wanna spend like so much time with each of those games that like I can't, uh, they cannot release. Here's what you can do, you, within, can, you can buy both and you just give me one so you can oh save god. you. Oh god. So anyways, basically like my prediction is Ether, er, Atlas is gonna come out Sony's conference, right? And they're just gonna be like, blah blah blah. Here's uh, do they have any more games on? They probably work on the entry and Odyssey. They probably are, but that's not Sony. So I, I guess maybe they won't. Maybe it will be Sony because they've got to show Persona. Because Persona Five is a big fucking deal. Like people may not realize it, but like Persona Four sold almost a million copies on the Vita. It's a big title. It's a on, big deal. On Vita, though. Which, which uh, nobody plays the Vita. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, if that game almost sold a million copies on a console that nobody has, imagine what that game is going to do when it releases on a console that everyone has. Like, 22.4, I think, million people have a PlayStation 4. That was the most recent numbers. That game's gonna be gigantic, so there's no way that they're not gonna say anything about Persona. I just hope to God that there's a release date. Mm -hmm. So, number three prediction, Persona 5, English trailer with a release date. I don't want a release window, I want a release date. And I want it so bad in 2015, but I'm thinking maybe next year. I'm thinking maybe next year, but let's hope that's 2015. So, Persona 5, Persona. All the ladies. Persona! And ladies love Teddy! Persona! <laughs> I'll be really excited for that game just because it'll be my first in-depth playthrough of a Persona game. I'll watch the Persona 4 Golden. Really excited. I love the anime. Yeah. I think the interaction with the characters and oh, so good, man. such a good concept. I can't wait to get my hands on it's it. It's just like it. Persona meets Lupin the Third. Like yeah. Well, I mean, uh, the fucking transformation they showed at the end was so cool. I, can't, I, I was like, that's going to be real. Dude, I, I, I'm going to have to make another video about Persona 5. Like, if they, like, give us any more information, because I literally can't Look out this myself. week for, uh, in the deep end, Persona 5. Deep end, Persona 5, Shane Walters. I'm just going to be naked the whole time, and you're just going to, like, watch me, and I'm going to, like, just, like, vibrate for, like, ten minutes. Just wear your fucking speedo the whole time. Ah! <laughs> ten minutes. All right, but that's number three for me. So what's number three for you? My next real prediction would be Shin Megami Tensei Five. Five? Oh God! Because right. Shin Megami 3DS or main console? I'm, I'm. Let's because, go main console, because, man. Because because Atlas loves reusing assets. Exactly. What if? What if they use the assets from Persona Five in Shin Megami Five? Um, ah, that is so, ah, that is so cool. God, we just got hyped. The, the only experience I've had in Shin Megami Tensei is Persona. So Persona, like you, it's like Pokemon when you get Personas, you know, you use them, you use their power, but there's no dialogue with them. Whereas in Shin Megami Tensei, Correct. you can talk to them and like you, recruit them. You have, and they, they are fucking bastards. Yeah. You yeah. really have their demons, right? Yeah, they don't want yeah. to be. I mean, they, they, they go by their own means, per se. And it's just like, like sometimes, then sometimes you can run into a really powerful demon. And you can try recruiting them, 
and we try recruiting them, they're just like, you know, they're talking to you for a little bit, and if you say something that crosses them wrong, they take out half your health and you're left just, oh, just screwed. Or they could take out, they could kill just one of your demons or you. Mm -hmm. Insta kill. Yeah. But if they brought that to the console, yeah. that would be a oh, God. big thing. They, they just take all the assets from five and make a Shimigami Tensei on the main consoles. Right. Like that would that would be awesome. I, I'd be super down. For I that. predict because and it has been a long time since the fourth one came out, I would not when be did that come out because it like Europe never got it. It, it, <laughs> it, it came out uh three D about right around the time the three D S launched. No way. It came out a long what? time ago. Okay, okay, all right, hold on. Don't quote me on that, because but I know it's been a while since they had a last uh, Tensei yeah, title. Yeah, yeah, Tensei, I think, 4 came out, like, maybe a year or two after, because 3DS came out when we were still in high school. Right. So, like, 2011, I want to say 12. Yeah, that's probably, that's probably We'll accurate. look it up, we'll find out, but it has been a while. But no, that, that'd be sweet. I would, su I would super down for, uh, do you think they would do that, what if they do it with Persona at Sony's conference, PS4, Xbox One? That'd be amazing. Oh, God. And also, the Shimigami Tensei X Fire Emblem. See, that's the thing that's got me worried, though, is that that might be their answer for a Shimigami Tensei uh, title for a couple more years. Yeah, that may be. <laughs> so that's my, that's my prediction three, is, is Shimigami Tensei 5, and hopefully maybe just throwing it out there, another... Uh, Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3. Or Dark Souls 3. Or, uh, Souls 3. Yeah. Bloodborne 2. Bloodborne 3. Fuck 2. We're just going to go straight to 3. Just, <laughs> just go the way the windows. Just Bloodborne 3. I to say, we're excited. We're excited about E3. Well, yeah, we had a bro, bro five, so. Yeah, we're really excited about E3. Uh, but a lot of cool things. I'm looking forward to uh, Nintendo. See what they, what they're gonna do with the new 3DS. I'm ready for another Zelda. I want another Zelda, and I want. Um, I want another Link Between Worlds. Holy shit! I want another Link Between Worlds. I want uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles for the 3DS.